Welcome back to my new video. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the 3D Simo and everything that comes with it. So, let's get right to it. Okay guys, so this is the wooden stand. This is something you have to buy separate. I think it is $25. It is a little expensive just for this little wooden thing. You can make your own, but um, I got this for Christmas. There is also another add-on, um, which goes right here. It's a battery pack that you can charge and bring on the go if you don't have a computer um, and I haven't bought that yet but I'm looking into that and so yeah this is everything that comes with it okay guys so with the cord here it is a USB cord so you can hook it into your computer say if you're in the car which is really cool or you can hook it into the plugin that it gives you they come with uh, European plugins but then they give you an adapter um, so it's just a USB, or you can plug this in straight to a wall that has just the USB plug-in part like this. But I really think it's awesome that you can hook it up to your computer so that you can do it in the car. And yeah. Okay, so I already have the PLA filament in here, and I will take it out and show you guys how this all works. Um, it's very easy, very simple for beginners. I've had this for about almost a year. I guess I got it in Christmas 2016. So you plug it in and um, whatever whatever part you have in here, it will sense it. And then these two buttons will tell you, it will um, make it switch from ABS, PLA, hips, all the different filaments, PETG, flexible, ABS, wood, all that. Um, so there's two buttons up here. This is the forward and this is the back out. So you take your filament and you stick it in this hole in the back here. And you push it in all the way until you feel it stop. And then you have to press the front button and push at the same time. Because you're feeding the filament in. Takes a couple seconds. And there you go. So, take that off. And then this is just a mirror covered with some painter's tape. And there's a little bit of glue on there. Um, just the normal painter's tape would work very nice. Um, you can use silicone to draw on all that. But I'm going to use this. So, I'm just going to draw, say, the basic... Um, Square like this. Um, PLA is a little harder to draw in air with because it needs to cool faster than ABS would. So I do recommend if you want to draw in air, you use ABS. Um, with the 3D printing nozzle tool, um, it is a little loud as you can hear. But, um, you get used to it, really. So then I'm just gonna put some on there, hold it, and pull up, and then let go, and then wait for it to cool. Again, with ABS, it will cool a lot faster, and you would get your print done faster. ABS needs a little more time to cool. Okay, so I have the walls done, and now I'm just going to go across just like I did on the bottom. Sometimes you might need to use your fingers to hold the print like I am, just to give it some more stability, but with ABS you might not have to do that.
<laughs> that one got a little messy. Um, after it comes out of the nozzle, it's not very hot, but I wouldn't recommend putting it directly on your skin. But you can touch it to flatten it out. For example, if I drew on here, I could push it down with my finger. That was a little hot, but don't keep your finger on there for a long time. So there is the simple square rectangle-like um, in the air print. So now we can move on to the next add-on. Okay, so this time we will be using the wood burning tool. The wood burning tool does come with um, three add-ons, um, or two, sorry, two. This one plus these two. Um, I think this can also be used for a different one, but uh, we will talk about that later. So there's these two, and then this, and I can show you guys later how you switch those two out. So when you plug this in, it will let you know that this is the wood burning tool and as you can see there's numbers there's a number going by you can switch the the temperature from it'll give you it'll start at oh, I guess it does go down all the way usually when you plug it in it starts at 310 you can go down or what I usually do is I go up to 410 and then you wait for it to heat up to uh, get it to heat up a little faster I usually hold down this button. This is the button, as you'll, you'll see, like before, it'll say operation, and that will let you know that it is heating up. Um, and it kind of makes a buzzing noise, just a little one, so that you know that it is getting hot. Usually, you have to wait a couple seconds to know it's melting. What I usually do sometimes is I will take some 3D filament, usually not PLA, but this is what I have on hand. Um, usually I'll take ABS and I'll put it on here to see if it melts it. And as you can see, it is melting it so that I know that it is getting hot. And you don't have to use this tool just for wood burning. You can use this tool for smoothing out 3D prints. Um, say you have something that is very rough or has some um, over extrusion. So let's see if this is going. It is getting, as you, you can see right there, it is going a little bit right there. Um, it's not heated up all the way because it will look like this. This is another one I did. Um, so all you have to do is just keep holding this. Make sure you don't touch this with your skin because it does hurt very badly. Because again, it is 410 Celsius. It is all the way up in its temperature. Not really sure why it's not working very well. Okay, guys, um, I guess today it's not wanting to work for me very well, but I will show you um, what I've done before. It turns out very nice, and you can use this to customize leather and all that. But I just made these mountains um, pretty simple, easy. It's very easy to use. Sometimes you have to wait a lot longer for it to heat up, but I guess I didn't wait long enough now, but that's okay. So let's move on to the next part. Alright guys, so I told you that I would show you how you can change out these things. It's pretty simple. Usually you can um, unscrew them by your hand. Sometimes you might need some pliers or something. Okay, so I had to go grab um, some pliers, just because I did screw it on last time with these. So you just unscrew it, like a screw basically. And then you need, once you get this part off, you want to take your pliers and hold on to this barrel part. Just be careful not to squeeze too hard or else you can dent that barrel part right there. Once you get it, then you can just start twisting with your fingers. Um, and it'll look like this. 
it might look like it's not right um but that that part stays in there so then you take this little thing and put it in the hole in the center and it'll rest on there and then you just take the cap and spin over it and you want to make sure it's tight enough so that it gets all the heat from the gun and that is how you switch out these extra parts okay guys I'm not gonna use this one because I really don't need to use it for anything right now but this is the soldering one um, what I was talking about earlier is this one might be able you might be able to use this one for soldering just to get into tiny grooves but there's a point on here so I honestly think this is for wood burning but you can use it also so this is the soldering one and again, you can go up on your temperature here. Usually, for soldering, I go all the way to 4, 410 again. But, um, yeah. This is the soldering one. Now, this next one is really awesome. I think this is really cool that they included this in this kit. Um, this is the foam cutter. As you can see, there's no wire on here right now. But... It comes with this little thing. You can put wire on. Um, I'm not going to put wire on it now because you really want to put the wire on right before you use it. Because the wire can become loose, but you want it really tight when you're using it. And again, it's the same exact thing. You can heat it up. I guess this is, you don't really need it that hot. But you can go as high as you want. But when you're print, when you are cutting things out with this, you want to be careful that again, this is being heated, so you want to only touch this. And so this is the foam cutter, and I think this one's pretty cool. I hope you guys like this video. Um, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.